Welcome to Catherine Raker's World. Innovation. Culture. Adventure. Fashion and health. Artists. Destinations. Traditions. This is Catherine Raker's World. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of Catherine Raker's World. You know, a family's emotional journey through the challenges of their teenage son's rare disease is the focus of a new documentary. Clinton Moore chronicles much of his son's struggles with stenosis, a rare genetic disease in an effort to bring more awareness, research, and hopefully one day a cure. Clinton is also the head of the advocacy group known as Stenosis Research Network and is now joining us. I want to welcome you to our show today, Clinton. And um, actually, can I ask a question about how and when did they find out what your son had? And can you, you know, lead us through what happened and how you found out originally? At around 10 months old, my son developed an inquenchable thirst, uh, which we first thought was likely juvenile diabetes. But um, after extensive testing uh, and nine days in uh, the local children's hospital back home in Delaware, um, he was found to have something called renal Fanconi syndrome, which is really a form of kidney failure. Um, and it was suspected that it was caused by cystinosis. Uh, however, in order to get uh, the actual diagnosis of cystinosis, we had to be transferred over to a different children's hospital in Philadelphia uh, where they did a, uh, a, a, a certain blood draw that then had to be shipped out to uh, San Diego uh, for, uh, to, a, to a certain lab. And back then this was all super confusing. I just didn't understand why they couldn't diagnose it here. But uh, two weeks after s shipping off that blood sample, we got the, um, uh, the confirmed diagnosis of cystinosis. How old is your son now? Now he's 15 years old now. How has the disease impacted your son, his life, and your family? His life has been impacted greatly. He has had um, seven or eight uh, surgeries. Some were minor, some were quite major surgeries. Uh, some of those surgeries landed him inpatient for as much as 14 days at a time. Um, wow. He has um, a, an, an unbelievable amount of medications that he has to take uh, throughout every day and some have to be taken overnight as they're so time sensitive. So he doesn't get a full night's sleep uh, ever and he hasn't for a, a good number of years now uh, just due to the, um, the time sensitivity on a lot of these medications. but. Uh, for the most part, he lives a relatively normal life, you know, or at least he tries to. Um, he has to be careful as he's had some, uh, some, some pretty severe bone health issues going on uh, that are related to kidney disease and kidney failure. Um, he has to take, uh, make sure he keeps up with a, a, an, an, an eye drop therapy, an ophthalmic solution that he has to uh, do every hour while he's awake to, uh, to save and preserve his, his vision. Uh, but, but, you know, all that aside, he, he does fairly well and he lives a fairly normal life. He still likes to go out and ride his scooters and ride around on the golf cart and play basketball in the backyard. So, uh, right. you know, we're, we're thankful it, that he can still enjoy those things. He's in high school, isn't he? Correct, yes. So, can you describe how your family struggles with your son's diagnosis depicted in this new documentary? Because I think, and why? Because you, how long have you been involved in the program that you're doing as president of the Cystinosis Research Network? I've been involved with the Cystinosis Research Network for probably about eight years. Um, I just got reelected um, for my fourth year of being the president of the organization. Um, mm -hmm. But prior to being the president, I was, uh, I was VP of Family Support for a while, and I was also just a general board member for a while. But 
uh, the Walk in My Shoes documentary uh, can be found both on YouTube and on systemnosis.org. Um, mm -hmm. And on systemnosis.org, you can find out everything that you would ever care to know about systemosis. But um, in in that film, it it, it kind of depicts uh, or, or shows uh, just just what a systemosis patient and a caregiver goes through. But I, I also tried to create it in a way that where it was very relatable for anyone with any rare disease, not specifically cystinosis. So I think the uh, producers did a good job doing that. And um, anybody that has any any issues or any struggles in life, you know, you can you can watch this and realize that uh, that everybody has the capability of making a difference. Um, you don't necessarily need a, a team of a thousand people behind you. You you have the ability to be um, life lifting and, and uplifting and, and inspirational totally by yourself. Um, I didn't think that I had that ability until I finally uh, finally stepped up and put myself out there and tried. And then that's, right. when, I, that's when I realized that I did have the ability to, uh, to change the world in a, in, in a positive way, even if, if it was just a tiny amount, you know, I was, I was able to do it. So I, so I stepped up and did it. You know, it's, it's amazing how certain rare diseases hit families. I know it's been in mine and it's been struggles. Uh, so I know, and you know, my brother basically had kidney disease. My dad had it. Uh, and this type of, of disease, is he, cons is he consistently thirsty all the time still? Yes, and uh, likely will be until he receives his kidney transplant. And, and then, you know, speaking to other post-transplant patients, um, most of them have a significant decrease in thirst after transplant, but some of them um, still have the thirst, and and I often wonder if maybe if it's uh, just habit at that point. Right. So, how is his everyday life? I mean, he has to take a lot of medication, right? Um, are you living in Delaware again? Yes, we have always lived in Delaware. We have never left. We only uh, we only had transferred to a Philadelphia hospital just. Uh, just for one day, just to do that particular test, but we've we've always lived in in, in lower uh, southern Delaware. So he must be pretty darn proud of you and what you've done and your accomplishments as a family, right? Well, I hope so. But I mean, really, really, we're the ones that are proud of him. I mean, he's he's kind of guided and and been the inspiration for me since uh, since his diagnosis and. Um, you know, he's the reason why I'm doing everything that I'm doing. He's the reason why we created the documentary and. You know, he's the reason why I got involved in the in the Systemosis Research Network. So, so he's really the one that's uh, that's that's driving driving the car. We're just uh, we're just sitting in the back seat, taking you know taking it all in. Is he your only child? May I ask? He is. He is our only child. Correct. That's wild. I, I you know I'll tell you what. Um, it's it's really tough when you find out what. A rare disease is all about but you want to know as much as you can am i correct correct yep yeah. and and uh, so you dig into it right how long had this disease been around uh i do know that uh i don't know how early it was actually been diagnosed i do know that back in 1964 uh one of our uh, fda approved therapies for this drug was fda approved back in the 60s um right so so it was definitely around um, much earlier than 1960 so uh, but yeah. a, but a lot has changed since the 60s um so is he on um any what type of medications are he is he on and is there going to be a transplant soon or what's going on can you tell us what's happening right now yeah the kidney transplant he is currently listed on the national transplant list however he is listed as inactive status at the moment because his nephrologist doesn't feel that it's um, it's, necessary. it's ne necessary at the moment. Uh, he is not on dialysis currently. He has never been on dialysis. Uh, we actually started the transplant workup process uh, back in 2019 because he was going through so many bone health issues that were uh, proven to be directly a, a directly related to his kidney uh, kidney health or, mm -hmm. his, or his failing kidney health, I should say. So mm -hmm. during all those uh, bone health issues, and the nephrologist says, you know, the only therapy that's going to help is a kidney transplant. But uh, miraculously, uh, you know, things bone health-wise have improved uh, dramatically over the past six months. 
So that's, that's the reason why the nephrologist said, well, maybe it's not needed at the moment. So we'll just leave him listed as inactive status for now. And uh, then as his condition worsens, we can always change him to active. Well, you know, uh, Clinton and I have worked with the Kidney Foundation and uh, the dialysis. My brother, um, unfortunately, and my aunt both he had kidney disease and they were both on dialysis. Your son is very lucky he doesn't have to go on dialysis at this particular point in his life. Um, and I wonder how long did it take you to create the documentary and what are the key takeaways you want people to understand about this disease? The documentary took about a year and a half to create from start to finish. Um, part of that time process was actually waiting for my son to heal up from some bone uh, health issues that he had and get back on his feet so that we can get some footage of him actually on his feet. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and hopefully any, everyone that watches it will, will, will definitely take away that they, they have the ability to be inspirational and life-changing um, uh, even if you're by yourself, regardless of what uh, is going on in your personal life. You, you have the ability to make a difference, um, e even if you're you know, going through a rare disease or whatever. But uh, you, you, you can find the documentary both on YouTube and on our website, cystinosis.org. Would you say that again? Would you spell that out for us, for my uh, viewers, please? Sure. Cystinosis is C Y S T I N O S I S dot org, O R G. Uh, and the documentary is Walk in My Shoes. Uh, you can go uh, directly on YouTube or you can find a link through the cystinosis dot org website. I would love to put this link on to my, uh, my Facebook and all of my social media. And also right. take your organization if you send me your logo, and I'll put it into our nonprofit organization piece on our websites, let's just talk radio.com, which this will be not only a television show, but a radio show. And I really appreciate and praise you for your mission. Tell your son that we're praying for him every day, and we know that the outcome will be wonderful for him. I appreciate all that. I'll definitely send that over to you, and I thank you very much. We thank you for your mission and what you're doing with this organization that, that you are president of. And you want to give the name of the organization again? It's the Cystinosis Research Network. It can be found at cystinosis.org. Right. And thank you for joining us today on Catherine Raker's World and Let's Just Talk. Thank you so much. We'll be very right